down in the early going here. For all the top business stories, log on to foxbusiness.com. Varney and Company continues right now. Yes, it does. Watch out. Here comes the Kerry Lieberman cap and trade bill. Tom Borelli from the National Center for Public Policy is with us. Tom, I've got two questions. Number one, is it going to raise energy prices? And number two, is there some kind of rebate scheme that kicks back tax money to people? Let's start with energy prices. Are they going to go up if this bill passes? Absolutely. That's the whole idea. The whole idea is to decrease decrease the amount of fossil fuel use. The way they're doing that is to raise the taxes. That's the whole idea. Are they going to go up a lot? Uh, a lot of people think so, yes. And are we talking electricity or are we talking gasoline or home heating oil? What are we talking? All of it. 85% of our energy comes from fossil fuels. The whole idea of cap and trade is to raise the price of fossil fuels. And well, that can you give us any idea of how much? If this is fully implemented and we're a couple of years mm -hmm. into it, What's it going to add to a gallon of gas or to a kilowatt hour of electricity or something? Um, the, there's a lot of numbers out there. I've seen yep. numbers that the, the overall effect of the American family could be up to something like $3,000 a year. That would be all, all forms, all of, forms energy, of energy. The whole bit, right. gas and electricity. Right. And it's also lower disposable income because the more money you pay for energy, the less money you but have to spend. But they're deliberately everything. doing this because... Well, they're concerned that they want to decrease uh, carbon dioxide emissions because they're, they're afraid of global warming. But the analysts who have looked at this bill is this is not going to have any impact on the environment because the reductions in CO2 isn't enough. This is just a corporate bail. But it also will get people to uh, maybe buy those little bitty cars that Chrysler's making now and the right, kind yeah, of cars right, that the right. president wants people to drive may also get people to adopt solar and wind a lot right. sooner than and, they really want to. The really important thing here is this is the start of the energy bubble. Because remember, renewable energy is only, if only around because it's subsidized by government or taxes. They tried this in Spain. It didn't work. So a lot of these companies are out there to pump up this bubble, and then it's going to burst. What about this rebate scheme? Everybody's energy costs go up. Some people get some money back from the government. Is that an extensive rebate scheme? It's part of the, I think it's, it's limited to the transportation sector, and, and no doubt it's going to be for people who, who, you know, have less money than more money. But again, who's going to be doling this out? It's another huge bureaucracy to take in money and then dole it out to who, how, and where. I, go ahead. Has no chance, though, this bill. Has no chance, right? Because oh, it doesn't have enough support. Well, from, know, from I, I side. It doesn't have enough support from one side or enough support from the other side, right? You would hope it doesn't, but you never know. We didn't think health care after, okay. after no, you're Brown right about that. And, you know, even if the Republicans take over, they still can ram this through towards the end of the year. Well, uh, now, look, this is right. all about global warming, basically. Right. That's at the heart of this thing. Is Al Gore involved in this Kerry Lieberman plan? Oh, well, he's involved indirectly. His uh, business partner, a uh, uh, venture capital firm business partner, is on Obama's economic advisory board, John Doerr. Is that so necessarily direct involvement? Well, he, uh, to the extent that uh, that venture capital firm has invested big in green energies. Mm -hmm. So this, this legislation basically mandates the use of that. That goes up, and then they bail, and we get stuck, just like the mortgage securities. Mm, interesting. Don't forget they're trading carbon credits. Oh, yeah, let's not forget. <laughs> hey, Tom, all good stuff. Tom Borelli, thanks Thank for you. joining us again. Uh,